Presentation discussion. Sri Brister Well Barbanek MLA to raise a short duration discussion. Under Rule 50 of the Rules of Procedure and Conduct of Business, to the news item published in the Shillong Times, dated 24 January 2024, under the caption, Cabinet OK, limit, age limit for the jobs in four government departments. Rester Well, Marvaniang, Emily, please. First, at the very outset, I would like to thank uh, the Deputy Chief, uh, the Deputy Speaker, for allowing me to raise a short duration discussion on matter of urgent public importance on the Rule 50 of the Rules of Procedure and Conduct of Business pertaining to the news item published in the Shillong Times dated 24th January 2024 under the caption, Cabinet OK's Age Limits for Jobs in Four Government Departments. Uh, why I'm raising this uh, issue is because of this uh, a news item that has been published in the Shillong Times where it stated that the cabinet had okays the age limit for jobs in four government departments that is civil defense, home guard, excise, registration, taxation and stamps, forest and environment and particularly home police department. The cabinet had approved a proposal to set different minimum and upper age limit for recruitment to these four departments. Uh, this new item has brought confusion in the mind of unemployed youths in the state. As we are all aware that uh, as far as recruitment, especially to police department, was done lastly in the year 2019. And many youths have been preparing themselves and they look forward to the next advertisement for the different posts, especially in the police department. And we are also aware that uh, more than 72% as stated by the Honorable Chief Minister in the floor of the House during his uh, budget presentation, 72% of the population is below the age of 35 years. And many youths are looking forward, especially for employment in the police department. Nowadays, yes, I agree. When you talk about government employment, it is saturated. And when you talk about government employment, usually the youths look forward to the police department and the education department where majority of the government job is in these two uh, departments. But then this particular news items had really created, uh, sent a very wrong message in the minds of the youths. And it has created confusion and at the same time frustration in the minds of the of the unemployed youths of the state and therefore I would like to seek clarification from the from the government uh, whether the government is intended to change as being reported where the cabinet has approved a proposal to set different minimum and upper age limit for recruitment to different posts especially with regards to police department and when you look uh, if you go by the last advertisement which was being advertised by the office of the additional director general of police tap and the chairman central recruitment board uh, as for this advertisement when you look at the at the age limit for ubsi male and female it is 21 to 27 years plus uh, five years re relaxation for st candidates that is it comes to 32 and then for unarmed branch constable including fireman driver fireman mpro operator and signal operators 18 to 21 plus five relaxation it comes to 26 
AB constable, arm branch, battalion constable, driver constable, 18 to 21 years, plus 5 relaxation, it is 26. And then commando constable operator, 18 to, 20, 18 to 21 years, plus 5 years relaxation, 26. And finally, follower, male, AB and UB group and SF10 group, 18 to 27 years, plus 5 relaxation, that is 32 years. Why I'm raising this is because the youth of the state needs clarification from the government whether the government has any intention to, uh, to change as far as the minimum and the maximum age as far as these different posts is concerned. Why I'm raising this at the same time is because if the government intends to change as far as the, the minimum and the maximum age, it will be highly unjustified, unreasonable, illogical on the part of the government, especially for the youth who have been preparing for the past four or five years. And if the government suddenly come up with the a notification to change as far as the age limit is concerned, then it will be highly unjustified on the part of the government. So therefore, may I know from the government specifically whether the government intends to change as far as the age limit is concerned to these different posts which is set to be advertised by the government very soon. So with this few words, I will resume my seat. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, yes. Other members? Yeah. <laughs> sir. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir. I would like to support the uh, discussions brought by Bryce Well, Marbanyang on the Rule 50, Rules of Procedure and Conduct of Business, the news item published or a case with the, lead, the limits of jo for the job in the government department. Sir, we know that uh, there are certain requirements for certain departments. But uh, when you try to reduce the age limit from the certain departments, it seems like you are doing the injustice for that particular department. If they are limiting the recruitment Mr. Speaker, sir, to you, if you're limiting the age limit of recruitment, that means they're requiring some efficiency, some strength, some power. That means those who are useless, like old and fat people, should be almost all, should be all, should dismissed from the job. <laughs> you know? In Assam, I've seen the order given by the chief minister, any fat people in the police department will be disqualified or maybe, you know, terminated or maybe suspended. So here also we should do, if he's all age and useless, you know, then they should be, you know, given an early retirement. So likewise, then it can give some justifications for all those new, you know, like, from 18 to 21 years, since being a tribal, our people used to get into the class even at the late age also. So their graduation peri period might be late. So that means we are giving some kind of an injustice to our people, our youths, who are waiting to get a job. I don't want to lengthy my speeches, Mr. Speaker, sir, but I want to make a point. At least give a consideration to those who are eagerly and sincerely waiting to get this particular job. Now, since our friend has already highlighted about the issues about the, you know, COVID and the other areas where the recruitment uh, process was very late. With these few words, Mr. Speaker, sir, if the age limit can be addressed sincerely by the government, 
not by the, uh, you know, not, not by the, not by the needs of that particular department, but by the, you know, uh, at least consider the, uh, you, uh, you know, uh, our people, uh, our tribal people actually, it will be wise on the part of the government to see even if they're like, uh, like the way the other departments are giving the relaxations up to 36, 38, I don't want that particular 38, 36, but at least up to 32, if they can reconsider the age limit. With this few words, Mr. Speaker, I support the short duration discussions brought by the rest of uh, well Marbania. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.